In this video, we're going to take a closer look at factoring trinomials, where the coefficient, or number in front, of x squared is 1. The shortcuts discussed in this video only work when there is a coefficient, or number in front, of x squared equal to 1. If there was any other number in front of x squared, these methods would not work. We've already discussed that we need to use this thing called the AC method to identify how to split up the middle term. With a coefficient of 1, a times c, or 1 times negative 6, is negative 6. This is the number we want to multiply to as we split the middle term. We want to add to the middle number, which is 5. It's very important that we're careful with our negative signs. Often, negative signs get ignored, and students will incorrectly look at this problem and say, 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 plus 5, 2 plus 3 is 5. And so they will try and factor this as x plus 2, and x plus 3. However, I want to notice that if we were to multiply these out using FOIL, at the very end, the 2 times 3 does not equal the negative 6 that we're looking for. It equals positive 6. Students often try and fix this by making one of the terms negative. However, you'll notice now in the middle, we would end up with 2 and negative 3, which doesn't equal 5. It equals negative 1. Keeping the signs in mind, there is another way to multiply to negative 6. We could multiply 6 times 1, and to end up with a negative 6, one of them has to be negative. Notice if we make the 1 negative, we now have 6 times negative 1 is negative 6, like we want, and 6 plus negative 1 is 5. We can now jump to our factors, x plus 6, and x minus 1, using those numbers that we found splitting the middle term. Again, it is very important to be careful of negative signs. Let's take a look at another example. Here, we're doing x squared minus 8x minus 20. Notice there's a 1 in front of x squared, so we can use our shortcut. 1 times negative 20 is negative 20 and negative 8 goes on the bottom. We need to multiply to negative 20 and add to negative 8. You'll notice that 2 times 10 is 20, and if we make the 10 negative, do this in green, 2 times negative 10 will be negative 20, and 2 plus negative 10 is negative 8. We can jump to our factors as x plus 2 and x minus 10. We have now factored this trinomial. Let's try another problem. In this next problem, again, we have 1 in front of x squared, so we are allowed to use this shortcut. 1 times negative 18 is negative 18, with negative 7 in the middle. We want to multiply to negative 18 and add to negative 7. To multiply to 18, we could use 6 and 3, but that won't give us 7. Or we could use 9 and 2, which gives us 7 if the 9 is negative. Negative 9 times 2 is negative 18, and negative 9 plus 2 is negative 7. We'll use those numbers to get our factors, x, minus 9, and x, plus 2, and we have our solution. Again, we can only use these shortcuts that we are using in this video if there is a 1 in front of x squared, any other number, and we have to factor using a slightly more involved method. If there is a 1 in front of x squared, we identify what we want to multiply to and add to, and using the pair of numbers we find, we build our factors.